Welcome to Pet Paul Vision Channel. This channel is maintained by Professor Dr. Amalini Chakravarti. As per demand and desire of the pet loving people of society, this channel is launched for various aspects of pet care management. We feel proud to open such a channel to raise the voice for them. If you like our channel, please subscribe us. Now we introduce Dr. Amalendi Chakravarti, who was a former professor and dean of West Bengal University of Animal and Fishery Science. He is an eminent professor and pet practitioner in India. He has got academic excellence to the extent of PhD and DSC. He is a fellow of Eight Society and recipient of Lifetime Achievement Award from National Pet Animal Society. After his retirement, at present he is only concerned with pet animal practice and book writing on pets. Dear viewers, I would like to discuss on stress in dog. All of you know that stress is coming in the society, especially in human society, like epidemic. Situation is more or less comparable to dog because dog also used to suffer from stress problem. If you consider stress, what is stress? Stress is a biological reaction to a potential dangerous situation. Or we can define stress as a feeling of emotional or physical tension. Stress also may be considered as the body's reaction to a challenge or demand. Now the question is this, if a dog is beaten continuously or if a deep dog is misbehaved for a long time, this prolonged misbehavior or misbehavior will lead to a stress. And this stress will affect not only the physical properties or physiological properties of the dog, but it will also affect the mental position. One thing I tell you, what happens in stress ultimately Stress creates cloudiness of brain. We call brain fog. Fog in the brain. That means blurred, not very distinct or not very akin. So that becomes a memory problem. That's why we think that in a society like us, where we are keeping the talk, in a manner which may not be suitable for the purpose of living to the animal. Because many freedom of the dog is lost. Therefore, they apprehend some dangerous feeling as a result of which the stress appears and the strange symptoms we do observe in dog. Now again, again I tell you stressors means some agents which actually produce stress. Let me discuss about the, the different stressors. From the standpoint of physiology or biochemistry, we can say stress produces a lot of, lot of free radicals in the system. These free radicals are the dangerous potential agent. They damage the different system. They damage the different system, including the brain. And somehow or other, if you have got the antioxidant with you, in that case, the effect may not be that much. Otherwise, that fellow will suffer from stress. So let me discuss on 
some causative factors which may create stress in dog. Let us consider one by one isolation stress. Again I repeat isolation stress. In isolation stress means when a dog or pup is separated from its mother or the keeper for a dog due to the reasons like sale, like going to a holiday or other businesses. In that cases, this isolation creates a lot of physical or mental depression in dog or pup. Next point would be climatic stress. Very important. Climate means we mainly we consider about hot and the cold. Maximum impact takes place in summer. Summer stress is tremendous. You probably know that canine species they are devoid of sweat glands. Therefore, they cannot perspire. That means they cannot dissipate heat. So whatever heat is generated from liver and other organs in the system, or as a result of biological and physiological activities, whatever energy is generated in the system, the hot is generated in the system, that is likely to be dissipated. How to dissipate it? We dissipate it through our perspiration. That's why we seldom suffer from heat stroke. But in case of dog, they don't have sweat gland. Therefore, if you do not keep the dog in a place where the warm stress will be less or summer hot will be less, in that case it will be possible. Otherwise, we have to go for cooling of the dog in the summer. There is a question. Somebody asks, why to give bath every day? I also do not prefer giving bath every day. I say brushing is more important than bathing. But in summer, you don't have any option. You will have to cool the dogs for considerable day as per the environment as suggest. If the environment is too hot, you have to cool. Even every day, even two to three times a day. Right? And if the environment is cool, you need not you give once in a week along with shampoo or some other bath, soap, whatever you like. In the cold also, you will have to give some jacket. Nowadays, various type of jacket is available. Or you keep in a cool, warm room so that it can con comfort. So heat stress and the cold stress, these two stress is very, very important. In both the cases, some stress hormones are released which creates an abnormal activities in animals. Then question lies, when the owner, is some or other owner is away, or owner is separated, we call owner-based stress. Because we know a dog is very much attached to the family or family members. If it is separated from the owner, it will induce stress. Because if the owner is separated means from one hand to another hand, that means one owner to another owner, that owner is a great to him. There will be difficult for him to adjust initially. Right? So, but that fellow, if the new one give affectionate touch, give assured confidence and great attachment in that way, stress may be minimized. Otherwise, it will feel a different situation and stressful. And then bereavement stress means when the owner 
or some members of the family, some or other is dead. In that case, the dog who is attached to a family member, he will be seeking that member, where that man has gone. Right? That is grief. Grief will attack him. As a result of grief, that fellow will under stage. I tell you, for the purpose of owner, if the owner is somehow separated, if the owner is somehow dead or lost, and the animal is not getting his owner, he is searching for the owner. Even so it may so happen, his master is coming at 8 p.m., he will go to the door and wait for the master continuously, expecting that master is like to, likely to return. So this condition is very pathetic and that stage is known as bereavement stage. Then question is emotional stage. When a dog will think that the members of the family, they are not giving proper attention to him, it gives him a feeling of non-attentional emotional and non-attentional emotion and thus induces stress. Because he is feeling that nobody is liking me and nobody is giving any attachment to me. Nobody is giving that attention to me and that becomes an emotional stress. Then sickness stress. Sickness means Sickness may be due to any pathogens. Pathogens means maybe bacteria, maybe virus, maybe protozoa, any infection that will invade the system. And when the system is involved, then there will be release of hormones, stress hormones. And these stress hormones will create problem. Therefore, that is also stress. Then travels stress. When an animal is given too much of exercise, too much of work, right? Or it is transported to a long distance by car or flight, whatever it may be, in this, it induces traveling, sickness, or transport stress, right? This is also important. Traveling is very important because I, I, I tell you, many of the dogs, while travel from a distance places, especially in aircraft, as a result of deficiency of oxygen, there is suffocation and death. I have seen many cases like that, right? And at the same time, I tell you, when you keep a dog for transport for a long time, you should give a gap and let him drop down from the car, get fresh air, again you run. Intermittent transport. Transport should not be continuous for dog. That is very, very important. That part one should take into consideration. Then you do have noise state. Noise stress is very important because our place there is full of festival and there are great festivals like Durga Puja, Kali Puja, etc. etc. A lot of crackers are being born. Right? So a lot of noises are being produced. And this noise actually, you'll find that as a result of this noise they want to scare it. Sometimes they go under the cord, under the table, and they go on shivering due to sound. That sound is very important. And they need coming. That's why if you want to relieve the stress, one has to make it calm. So many devices have come up, come, coming collar, coming tablet. So many things have come up. And you care, so many things. That means you have to tranquilize the Otherwise, noise is creating stress. And if it is stress, main problem is that stress will induce inappetite. That is the problem for the world. Right? The examination stress. Suppose a dog has to perform a surgery. So when it is shaped and injected and put in the table. So while it is put in the table, it, 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 it fear comes in it. As a result of agony, 
stays produces and they start struggling in the operation table not only this operation even for the examiners also dog is to struggle when they struggle they release stress hormones leading to stress then if you when you go for deworming i tell you many to a many a time deworming may cause death even if it is not properly done properly done means the dose is not adequate or the compound is not quality compound or the manner by which the deworming has to be done the procedure to be followed for deworming is not rightly adopted in that cases this may create some reaction i tell you if the liver is damaged and you are giving a molecule deworming molecule in that cases that fellow may suffer because you know it is a toxin it is going to kill the parasite when it kills the parasite sideways it also have damaging effect on the host and therefore that fellow may suffer from stress then cropping stress or docking stress nowadays is cropping and docking is more or less more or less banned or more or less not done so i'm not going to discuss on this cropping or drop uh, docking stress but vaccinal stress is also there very important when you give a vaccine we give antigen there will be production of antibody and there may be problem of releasing some stress hormones at the same time while you are giving vaccine dog may struggle as a result of fear as a result of agony so, so whatever stress i have told you besides some other stress developmental stress when the puppy is going so in that time adequate nutrition and other things if not provided that fellow suffer from stress when the bitch is pregnant so there will be gestational stress because in gestational stress you have to give some additional inputs otherwise there will be problem and defensive stress this is very important i tell you in the adrenal there is a gland on on the kidney epinephrine there is a gland that gland is known as adrenal gland this adrenal gland has what two part one is adrenal cortex other is adrenal medulla in the middle of from the medulla a hormone is secreted which is being targeted by the pituitary gland pituitary gland releases a hormone acth adrenocortic hormone that actually induce to produce adrenaline so when a dog is attacked by another dog it has to have defense in defense what do you do suppose somebody wants to beat me what i do there are two options for me with me either fight or fly if you want to fight you require more circulation in the hand and the peripheral circulation should be more and if you have to fly also fly away that also you require more peripheral uh, circulation so in that way adrenal takes part in that forget about that in adrenal there is another part known as adrenal cortex from there glucocorticoid or simply cortisone is being released the cortisol what is the what is the effect of cortisol cortisol creates immediately we give cortisol to a patient which is somehow in a moribund condition or collapsed condition why because it immediately increases the blood sugar level if it increases the blood glucose level or sugar level patient may survive at the same time it has got some bad effect also this cortisol will depress the appetite center therefore the dog will not eat if the dog does not eat owner becomes very much very much alert i apprehensive why my dog is not taking food doctor my dog is not taking food why it is not taking food there is stress if you can reduce the stress that fellow will take right so that is a one point second bad effect of cortisol is it 
produces the it, it can produce anemia less production of RBC that is also not good third thing but when the animals are taking food at the same time it is having some anemic problem then what what is the solution so long I was telling about the stress but what is the solution of it solution is that you have to feed the animals by patting politely, by giving polite word, patting, affectionate, love. You have to feed the animal. If not force feeding, hand feeding. At the same time, if you can create the temperature of the food to the level of 37 degrees centigrade, that is warm, that warm food that you may take. If you have stale food, it will not take. If you ordinary food, it will not take. But if the food is warm and some aroma is released from the food, that aroma will help him to take the food. That is very important. There are some anti-stress, anti-stress, uh, anti-stress agents which can also be anti-stress vitamins. Vitamin E, vitamin C, they are important antioxidants. Besides, we can go for some plants which are antioxidants in nature. Somehow or other, we will have to give some antioxidants in order to release the stress. Finally, I will tell you some of the features which may get in case of no stress or we call it stress or mild or less stress and excessive or severe stress. Suppose if you consider barking, you will find that normal dog will bark well, well, bark well. That means he is barking properly. But if it is mild stress, if it is under mild stress, it will snare, not bark properly. And if it is severe stress, less bark. If you come to another point, alertness. No stress, it is hard. If it is mild stress, inattentive. And if it is excessive stress or severe stress, it is unresponsive. It is not responding to the call. Moreover, behavior also, in case of no stress, it is well behaved, less stress, misbehaved, and excessive stress, apathetic, precipitous, or evil tendency and company also for most stress it will like company less stress averse company and excessive stress ignore company he does not like anybody to disturb him that means severe stress running it will run well if it's all right if it is mild stress runs poorly and if you have excess stress it will disincline to move, to not like to move. Hydration, here yeah, it is hydrated, in case of less dehydrated, and in case of severe, dehydrated. Severe means dehydrated, not taking food. And eating, already I have told you, that if the animal is not having any stress or use stress, eating well, eating, and in case of less, mild stress, eating very poorly, and in case of excessive stress, it refused to take food. One thing I tell you, owner is very much concerned that my dog is not taking food. He is not bothering about the reason for which it is not taking food. He bothers why my dog is not taking food. But one thing I tell you, various causes I have told you, to are the causes, the ultimate result is stress. And this stress is actually creating problem. And that's why that fellow does not take food. So we must take due attention for stress relieving. We must see that the minimum stress is provided to the animal to make it a well-living dog. So far we have discussed on stress. The dog loving people should give maximum attention so that 
dog does not suffer from any stress. And in the forthcoming session, we are likely to come with another video where the topic would be on aggressive behavior on dog. Hope you are liking our video today. If yes, like, share and comment. Also subscribe our channel. We will be coming soon with a new interesting video very soon.